The Adventures of Anya, Chapter 5, Fairies in the Forest. As Anya, Barry, and Coco strolled through the enchanted forest in the evening, their eyes caught a mesmerizing sight, twinkling lights dancing in the air. To their astonishment, it turned out to be a gathering of tiny fairies, their delicate wings shimmering in the glow. Eager to find Princess Alyssa, Anya approached the enchanting beings and posed a question. Have any of you chanced upon Princess Alyssa? She inquired, her voice filled with hope. The fairies nodded in unison. We witnessed her accompanied by trolls, venturing further into the depths of the mighty mountain. Take heed, brave souls. The path you will tread is fraught with danger. It is a realm where caution must reign supreme. So movement five are the fairies in the forest. If you've ever seen at, in the middle of summer, you know those lightning bugs, they call them different things in different places, but the ones where they light up for a little while and then the light comes back off, it lights and it goes back off. That feeling, I think, is the feeling that she's going for here with these fairies. So this kind of, uh, you saw the light and then, oh, the light disappeared. That's what those diminuendos are about. And you can work to get that kind of sound out of it. So flickeringly, like they turn on and off, and very lightly, all of this. Then when the fairies are actually kind of dancing, we have this feeling it's uh, written in three, but it really feels, again, like it's in one. dancey kind of feeling. You don't want it to feel like one, two, three, one, two, three, one. It's a little too heavy. And these are very light creatures. They're just flying around in the forest like this, and you can barely see them in the different places. So very flickeringly. And then you'll notice that there are places where there are accents on, on the beat one. For example, in measure 14, that note has a little accent and a different dynamic than the others. Same thing in measure 16 and 18 and 20, but that one's piano, a little bit different. So when you're playing all that, it's like those notes should just come out a little bit from the texture.
and you can play around with the dynamics. She's very precise with dynamics in this one. So I urge you to really think about what does she mean when she says pianissimo? What does she mean with a mezzo piano? What does she mean with a mezzo forte? And are you really playing those differently on your piano in the way that they should sound? So I hope you enjoyed dancing around with these fanciful fairies.